since I've been back in February, I've been skating here probably four or five days a week. 7 a.m. I'm here, never get kicked out. Let's see if I can do the go-to on the ones. Abe Bethel is a skater from Miami we heard about through the Nine Club. Oh, my buddy Abe's been yeah, teaching me how to skate curbs. Yeah. He's great a great skateboarder, Abe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know him, but I see Instagram clips. Of Abe, him. Abe Bethel? The be greatest, yeah, the greatest Dude, curb skater of all time, Abe he Bethel. He makes me really want to learn how to skate curbs. Bro, he's really like, good at he, it, bro. He was never a pro or anything, but everyone on the show spoke so highly of him and his skating that we took a trip down to Miami to meet him and learn about the world of slappy skaters. It's a vacant bank. I think after COVID, it shut down. No one had ever skated here, for sure. There was no marks, nothing. Now all the curbs are waxed. Even the little ones, those are the training wheels. Who's a good back lipper? Carol. Carol's got a good back lip. Sexy as fuck. skating curbs in 2016 after I moved to LA I started working at Prime Dune was the brand manager he had rails and was skating curbs so ended up meeting the curb control guys which was Tim Olson Scott Hurst Ryan Gallant Wee Man curb killer Ira even Tony Hawk came out and skated with us a couple times Ronnie Krieger came out was a regular on our sessions yeah. When I met Abe and went and started skating on the curbs, it was kind of just like reliving my childhood, like all the stuff that I skated when I was, you know, 10, 13 years old. Time we go skate i'll be on my like second or third trick and he's already pumped out like 50 trying to figure out what he's gonna film and i'm like come on i remember just seeing footage of him on instagram skating costco and just like killing it and then after a handful of times i'm like wait who the fuck is this guy this guy's so gnarly i think i was pretty late to actually doing classic slappy tricks and then I kind of overused it in the last five years because it's the funnest best thing i like to skate curbs like ledges and try and like do slappy tricks on higher things something really has to grab your eye if you're seeing someone like just sliding across the same costco curb over and over it, it looks like he's skating transition a lot and and sliding stuff far and like doing combos that you would kind of see on transition it's cool also to see abe completely change his geography and then and then you get to see all these other Miami spots popping up. Yeah, and then like just ripping them by himself. That's pretty tight. I never skated curbs in Miami once until I came back in February and then realized that this was the iconic Felix Arguez and Planet Earth video curb and still in good shape. They've just repaved the parking lot a couple times so it's a little lower but it's a great double sider. It wasn't waxed at all. It probably hadn't been skated in years. I mean, maybe some kids saw it and maybe tried to do a board slide, but yeah, I got it going, waxed it, salva sauced it a bunch. I was skating it in, in the mornings. I had a routine going. I'd skate here like at six when the sun was coming up and then the employees would start to get here like at eight-ish, looking me crazy. Uh, moved back in February because we were having a kid and decided to open a skate shop. I mean, Miami could have five more skate shops. It's so big. I mean, that's where the name stems from, Greater Miami Skate Shop, because it's such a greater area. The land mass here is huge. And there's so many kids skating. You know, teach them the culture and the skate etiquette of, you know, skateboarding and the gatekeeping and the do's and the don'ts. I want to support the skate scene here. I think that's most important, you know? Whether you're good or not, you know, if you like skating and, you know, this is your people, you know, you vibe with your tribe and this is your shop, 
you know, where you can come in and hang out, watch a video. I need to get a couch. I do need to get a couch, though. <laughs>